This is a post-op Veruca curettage video. This young man, these are his one week post-op curettage picks. Now, unfortunately, I didn't manage to get a pre-op pick of the Veruca in question, but you can see by the size of the lesion and the defect, it was really quite a sizable one and it was pretty nasty. And I talk a little bit about the video that's coming up about the histo of it. So this is one week post, little close-up pick coming in now. Uh, my typical regime for a curatage, full thickness excision perhaps would be more accurately a description, is one week in a dressing and then change the dressing at one week and then another two weeks in the dressing. They're typically fully epithelialised by about week two, week three. And then typically I do a three month review. I think it really takes that long for the skin to settle down, which I did for this young guy, but we did a follow up at 10 months. He really wanted to come back and see what it was like further down the line. So that was nice. I don't often get that follow-up late consultation because generally the patients have done well and they've been discharged by then so um, nice little pick to show a long-term review and a nice flat pain free, free excuse me flat scar i'm just going to put these i've got these new gloves from yeah. america they're super thin you can hardly tell i'm wearing them can you yeah. see that i mean they almost look see-through now this young man we did this 10 months ago yeah, uh, beginning main bank holiday, first main bank holiday. Of 2021. And I know I've got some still photos. Now what yeah. Jeremy had was this really kind of awful Veruca. And you remember we, we did the histo on it and I said it came yeah. back and it said it it has shown signs of like a previous infection in it. So yeah. it was a Veruca plus. It wasn't just yeah. a normal Veruca, so yeah. it was a really, really nasty one. So I don't we didn't kind of video it at the at the time, which is a shame. So what we've got is a flat neat sign from a full thickness excision so more than just a curatage a full thickness excision and Jerry what I'm doing I can really see you've got quite kind of thin kind of bony feet really you've got quite, actually quite a prominent big toe really joint yeah. you don't feel number two you don't feel number three you are kind of quite prominent over number four and yeah. five feels okay and this is one of the, the, the theories that I've got really that is where you get these high points of pressure mm -hmm. This is where you get the little injuries to the skin, and then this is where you get the Veruca virus that goes in. Yeah. So that you've got, um, give me a number out of 10 for what your level of discomfort is now. Give me a number. Oh, one. One. Yeah. And that's, you couldn't get the skin any better than that, but that's yeah. down to the fact that you're still, that, that bone yeah. for you is a little bit prominent. Yeah. So when I see patients who've got kind of a, a true corn on there. We do quite a lot of times, we do the kind of the full excision for the corns. Um, in fact, we're just writing up a little academic paper between myself, my good friend Belinda, who I run the course with, and one of my American buddies. And what we, we, we're saying is the research is showing that cut the corn out first, if it's really a corn, and then for the really bad ones, we kind of break and reset the bone. So we would take that bone and lift it up. Mm. But there's a world of difference between skin surgery and breaking and resetting oh, the foot. Yeah, this looks really good. So yeah. I'm super pleased with that now. I'm just going to move you back into the center shot. So yeah. I'll try and just do a, a clinical photo now. I might try and get the light on, but I, I couldn't be any happier with that. Good. I'm, well, I'm, I'm very pleased with Well, it's, no, yeah, it's not my opinion that counts, I should say, actually. Okay. It's obviously, the, you know, it's the patient's opinion, but that's really good. Because it was really sore before, wasn't oh, it? Oh, it was, it was, uh, was life-affecting. A I little thing. I, I do a lot of walking, and I couldn't, I couldn't do any walking. No, I, looked, I looked at my uh, number of steps that I do each month over the course of the year, and between October and November when this started, and probably July when no, it did all heal. Yeah. My step count was right down. Really? Yeah, I normally do sort of between eight and 10,000 uh, a day and I was down to about three or four. So I only do 8,000 steps a day if I get lost. I, don't, I, you know, I, get, I get an Uber. <laughs> you know. Right, let's stop the video there. Thank you for that, sir. And then here's a close with the skin. So you can see there's a very fine, flat scar considering, and again, apologies for not having a pre-op picture of the pre-op Veruca. It was a belter. So I'm super pleased with that. I really don't think you can get any better than that. Um, I've talked on other videos why I think a full thickness excision is better than a true curatage. I think breaking the dermal epidermal junction is fine and probably gives a better overall cure rate. Alrighty, thanks for watching as always.